Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett. I'm Senior Technical Instructor here at Stormwind Studios. And one of the things that, uh, that we talk about in just about all of our Microsoft classes is PowerShell. PowerShell is incredibly powerful. It allows us to have reproducibility. It allows us to go in and see exactly what's going to happen before it happens. And every different product that Microsoft has, it seems, has its own PowerShell. Now, PowerShell has uh, commandlets, and these commandlets are included in modules. So if I go in and I install DNS, I get the DNS module commandlets. If I install Active Directory, I get that. If I install Exchange, I get that. And so there's just tons and tons and tons of really, really cool commands that we can go out and use. So which ones do I like? Well, uh, probably my favorite is Get Help, oddly enough. So if you go into your screen here, and if you like the customization, you want to modify a little bit, go into Will Panic's uh, PowerShell class. He talks about how to do that. But what I want to do is I want to do a Get Help command. So we'll say that I'm doing something like I'm making users. So I'll say new AD user. And what this is going to do is it's going to go into the modules, and they will have little help files. Now, the, the, the help file infrastructure is there. However, the help files are not. So you get a little bit of information here. Here's some of the stuff. But check this out. What if I wanted to do this with examples? But it doesn't have all of the stuff. It doesn't have all the pieces. So they ship you the health or the, the, uh, the, the help files. They ship it to you with parts of it installed. It's not complete. But if you want to get the rest of them, you have to do another command. So my first uh, favorite command is get help. Uh, with an examples, of course. My next one is to update the help. So I can say update help. And it'll go off and it will open up all the modules and it'll go out and it'll look for the URLs that have the, the help files, the examples, and all that other good stuff that's on there. Now, uh, the gotcha on this, not every manufacturer is going to include links to help files or they'll have links to help files to a server that no longer is running. You know, sometimes that happens. Um, so not everything's going to have help with it, but after a period of time, it's going to go through and it's going to find the help. Now, this is going to take a while because this is a fresh, clean installation. Let me move over to this one. Now, this one has updated help. So I'm going to say get help, new AD user, and I'll say examples. And so then we have all sorts of examples. So here's a brand new user. It has a certificate. Here's a brand new user that gets a title and a mail property. Here's a brand new user, does all sorts of stuff. So the whole idea here is I can say get help, get AD user, and it gives me examples. Now, uh, one of the other things that we, we have to realize is that sometimes we just want to find the appropriate commands. So um, one of the things that I can do is, is I can use my third. So we had a uh, get help, which is my first, uh, new uh, or uh, update help, which is my second. And then my third one is a get command. So let me show you this. So say get command, and let's say that I just installed a uh, brand new DNS server, and I want to find out what PowerShell commands are out there for me. So I'll do an asterisk uh, DNS asterisk, and it's going to show me all of the commands that are available for DNS. So for example, if I wanted to to go in and find you know register DNS client. I could go in, I could do a, a get help on register DNS client. So the, the biggest thing that I've found with PowerShell is, uh, just, is uh, just discovery, command discovery. Now, fortunately, Microsoft has done an excellent job of going out and providing some really, really, really good documentation. If you go up to docs.microsoft.com, and in this case, I went to enus slash PowerShell, but one of the things that they have is they have overviews, they have setups, they have a PowerShell module browser, they have this uh, PowerShell gallery where you could download additional PowerShell modules, and they also have just tons and tons of sample scripts. So let me get my head out of the way so we can see all this. There's just tons and tons and tons of those sample scripts that are out there. So how-to guides, managing computers, drives and files, there's just tons of them. So uh, PowerShell is incredibly powerful, obviously. And it does allow you to have a bunch of scripts that you can use to automate your process. Now, I'm not a programmer, so I don't sit down, oh, I'm going to write a script today. But what I can do is I can copy and paste from other examples, things on the web, this, and that, and the other. And even though I'm only supposed to give three, I'm going to give you the fourth one. The fourth favorite PowerShell command is hyphen what if. 
hyphen what if. What hyphen what if does is it'll go through and do a PowerShell command, just like as if it was normally going to run that PowerShell command, except it doesn't actually execute whatever process it's trying to do. So if you say, delete all users, asterisk dot asterisk, and it goes in there and it'll say, okay. But if you do a hyphen what if, it'll just say, well, this is what would happen if I did that. So um, basically, the systems that I like is I like git help. I like update help. I like git command. And I also like what if. So PowerShell is very, very useful. Uh, we do have a class on it taught by Will Panic. I do recommend you check it out. And I do recommend that you master PowerShell because that is what is going to differentiate you from all the other people who just use graphical user interfaces. Not that there's anything wrong with graphical user interfaces, but if you can script it, you can automate it. And if you can automate it, you can manage thousands and thousands and thousands of machines. And that makes you more, value, more valuable to your, uh, your company. The way that we teach PowerShell is it's scattered throughout all the classes because everything supports PowerShell. So we'll show you how to do it in the graphical user interface, and we'll show you how to do it in the, uh, the PowerShell command line. So there's going to be PowerShell everywhere. It's the future. And uh, I just like that it's got a, a really cool help system. So if you do have any questions, feel free and email me, doug.bassett at stormandlive.com. And thanks again for coming by. Hope to see you in class real soon.